Hi to all the Linux Deck viewers out there. This tutorial is about morph transition effect. We'll try to teach you how you can use morph transition effects and then you can always customize it depending on the requirement and whatever creative ideas you have. So we'll just give you an idea. So let's start. This is our blank presentation. We'll start with format background. The very first thing that we'll be doing here is we'll change the color of the background and let's make it brighter. So now what we'll do is we'll insert a word art let's say we'll insert here one so i'll just select it i'll increase the size of the font from here here it is i'll place it right here now uh, what you have to do is in in order to make uh, your morph transition effect look much more visible or viable you need to create a shape out here let's create a rectangle we'll say that we do not want any fill in this rectangle now we'll cre try to create the cap of this uh, particular rectangle we'll try and make it uh, fill with gradient color so that it looks like uh, the cap of this particular battery indicator you can call it now let's copy it and we will paste it right below the mark. You can always adjust the colors uh, in case you think that uh, it is not looking perfectly as you think. So this is how you add or subtract gradient stops. So uh, these are the stops which we have already created. Uh, you can make it uh, in a, your own customized way so i'll just delete it the bottom one looks much more nicer so i'll just copy it up uh, in the above portion as well perfect so uh, now it looks like a jar what i'll do is i'll make it a group uh, before making it a group let's insert another picture in it which is called as uh, a rectangle uh, this rectangle will let you know how much filled this perfect battery indicator is so let's fill it with a lighter color maybe let's start with this one so select all these pictures at once and press ctrl g by pressing ctrl g it will be placed uh, as a group and now you can place it anywhere within your slide so i'll just try to place it over here this is our first slide. Let's uh, create a duplicate slide. We'll do it 10 times or maybe lesser if it's if you want. So this is how you can create uh, a dynamic kind of presentation. And instead of the digit that we have written, you can write your text. You can place different images. Uh, you can write uh, the zoom summary that we have already created in our previous lectures. So this is all what you can do. Now in the next slide what I'll do is I'll change this digit, digit to 2 and the color and what I'll do is I'll just change the placement of this particular fluid. You can always change the color of this text as well if you want. So this is our third slide so we'll keep it 3 and we'll change the color maybe to a different one as well. So this is how uh, we are going to do it. Again, this is our fourth slide. We'll change it to four and we'll change the color maybe to green one. This is our fifth slide. So we'll repeat the same process here and you can change the color as well. Changing color uh, actually makes it much more uh, visible the visibility of a slide will increase so this is a good option that you can use but this is uh, an exemplary slide and once you have learned how to do it you can always customize it depending on the requirement most of you will be using it for obviously for text so we are just letting you know how to do it we'll change it to six as it is a six slide now let's move on to the next slide which is our seventh slide 
we'll change the color as well we can use a brighter color like this one and this is our eight slide change the color of this you are almost here these dots uh, that are called grid lines actually helps you to identify where you were in the previous slide so you can make changes accordingly this is our ninth slide so we'll change the color of this ninth slide as well and we'll change the position of this indicator and in our last slide we'll do the same process again we'll just add a zero here change the color of this as per your requirement and we would like it to almost remain completed now what you have to do is just click on the first slide press ctrl a all slides will be selected go to this transitions and select morph once you have selected morph you have to put in some settings out here we would like to run it for maybe 0.01 second durations and we don't want it to initiate or exaggerate on mouse click we would like it to play after every two seconds so this is how we are going to do it let's start and let's see the preview of the slide that we have created see both animations are working perfectly looks like that there is a battery indicator and the slide is not changing and as soon as the numbers are increasing the battery indicator is increasing so this is a perfect way of making a slide you can add this animation with text and your slide will look dynamic with a little amount of effort so this is how you can do is please use it with different customizations and with much more creative mind thanks for watching this video but make sure that you have subscribed to our youtube channel which is learner deck and stay tuned thanks for watching this one